Today we are going to make a fun looking dessert. My favorite type of cake is the Mars cake. I did a recipe on it a while back. I decided to take that and make something more creative out of it. So I googled it and I saw this one person who made a cake that looks like a watermelon. That recipe actually uses marshmallows, which I can't have, but instead we're taking the recipe for the Mars cake but make it into this one. Hopefully that isn't confusing you too much, but you will see, it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. All you need is three cups of Rice Krispies, 300 grams of white chocolate, some milk chocolate chips, and then some food coloring. And that's about it, so let's get started. First thing is to melt the chocolate. I'm putting it all in a pan and then I have another full of water. I'm gonna put it on top and let the chocolate melt. It's going to take a few minutes, but when the chocolate is all melted, we're gonna take two tiny balls and we're gonna pour three quarters in one and just a quarter in the other. Now that we have the two cups of chocolate ready, we are going to add food coloring. So in the one with a lot more, we're gonna put some of the red and in the little one, we're gonna put the green one. All you have to do is to mix it so we can get that red watermelon color and then the crust. Is that what it's called? Crust? I don't know. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is really light pink, so I'm gonna add more and so on until I get the red I want. So when you are actually happy with the two shades you got, you can go ahead and take the Rice Krispies and we're gonna do the same thing. Basically, we're gonna put three quarters in the tiny cup and then just a quarter in the other. We can still do this very slowly. Now that I mix all of these in, I can go ahead and add a little bit more. When you are happy with the paste you made, you can go ahead and take a little tray where to put your cake. So what we're gonna do is to place the green around and then the red in the center. By the way, did I tell you, you didn't even have to bake this. You just put it in the fridge and it's done. Pretty simple. Now that we have the green, we can take the pink and put it all in the center, as I said. And voila, now we have the base. I do realize that mine is more pink than red, but hey, that will do, it's so cute. Now the last thing to do is to take the chocolate chip and we're gonna place them on the pink so it looks like the seat. And now the cake is complete. We're gonna put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes just so it all sticks together and hardens a bit. And then we're ready to eat it, which is perfect because it's actually lunch right now. So by the time I'm done eating, we are gonna have to taste it together. See you in 30 minutes. Where am I going? And now 30 minutes later, the cake is ready. I'm just slicing it into four pieces and you are ready to serve it. It looks a little bit like a salad. All right, let's eat this now. It's good, but what does it taste like? White chocolate. Oh, the coloring is kind of throwing you off, but it's really good. It gets um, nine out of 10 because it's not really pink. I mean, it's not really red. It's pretty good, right? So this is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's fun, it's simple, there is no need to bake, so I think pretty much anyone can try this. And if you do try it, let me know by sending me pictures. I always like when you do that, you know it. And I'm gonna go now. I will see you next week. Bye! Thanks for watching!